Well, all our apprenticeships are advertised through our careers website, NHS Jobs, and you may sometimes see them shared on social media as well. We currently offer apprenticeships in Emergency Medical Technician 1, Mechanic, IT, Finance, Procurement, Project Management, Data and Business Administration, as well as Communications Apprenticeships. We've also got apprenticeships for our internal staff to undertake as part of development pathways, which go right through to master's degree level. All our live vacancies currently can be found at mwas.nhs.uk forward slash careers forward slash vacancies. Well, first of all, you need to have level two in maths and English or equivalent. Uh, you need to have a driving license with no more than three points. We will sometimes consider people with six points in exceptional circumstances. Uh, you also need to have a C1 driving license. Uh, however, if you're successful in application and interview, uh, we will offer salary scheme to those without C1 or with provisional C1, and we can support them uh, to gain C1 uh, standard. During the recruitment process, you'll have to complete a situational judgment test. You'll have to have an interview and you'll have to have a driving assessment and you must be successful in all three of those in order to join the programme. Currently, the paramedic degree apprenticeship is offered as an internal progression route for staff members that have completed the emergency medical technician apprenticeship and have two years consolidated learning and service. If you are aspiring to be a future paramedic, you might want to look at our EMT one route as a way into the service. This will enable you to develop those vital skills. In NWAS, we believe in career progression and developing our staff to be the best they can be. Anyone could be an apprentice as long as they're over the age of 16, they live in England and they're not currently in full-time education. Well, during your first 12 months, you would receive 8% at the top of the band. And from month 13, you would then move to 85% at the top of the band. Once you've successfully completed your apprenticeship, you would then move to the full rate of pay for that band and you'd move through increments on an annual basis.